Welcome everyone to yesterday's NBA news from the 4th of August 2024 and we actually had some partial news and obviously we had Caitlin Clark playing which I mean draws all the attention you want. Um, nonetheless let's get quickly into it as Talen Horton Tucker, THT talent Horton Tucker has agreed to a partially guaranteed deal with the Chicago Bulls. He's a hometown kid so he's gonna play or at least compete for a roster spot with the Bulls. And I mean, why not for the Bulls, right? Why not take a flyer on THT? Um, I mean, yeah, unless it obviously hinders with Malas Buzelis, which, which it should not take a flyer on THT. Um, next up, we had Mac McClung uh, to agreeing to a partially guaranteed deal with the Orlando Magic. He was in camp with the Magic last year, obviously, back to back dunk contest champion, was the MVP of the G League. And shit, why not right for the magic? Get another bouncy guy um, who has improved uh, tremendously over the last couple of years. Um, and I mean, maybe you can get a backup, backup point guard or a guard for a cheap price here who could improve your roster. I don't know. Those are obviously minor moves, but why not? Better minor moves than nothing. Uh, even though it's still crazy that, for example, right, Ma Markel Fultz is still not signed, which is fucking crazy. But I guess the injuries and Viterno, be Viterno not being a middle ground, it's hard to negotiate a contract with him. I don't know. It's it's crazy. It's crazy because Markel Fultz deserves to be on an NBA team without a question. Um, then we had a personal new new personal news. Uh, the 76ers are hiring Memphis Grizzlies executive executive. Okay, actually that that's a fucking banger. Uh, executive. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna do that shit. Yeah, fuck. No. Okay, executive Ariana Andonian as vice president of player personnel. Uh, and there was also a rumor, I'm pretty sure, that uh, the Sixers could move to Brooklyn in 2031, 2032 or something like that, which would be fucking insane. Uh, and, I mean, maybe if the negotiations and shit just don't work out, I mean, we would have the Brooklyn 76ers, which would be weird as hell, but I mean... Shit, why not? Um, and then obviously Gigi Jackson will miss at least three months due to the right foot surgery he had, uh, which is just tough. Uh, but I mean, hopefully no more bad news for the for the Grizzlies in this off season. Um, <laughs> Knock on wood. Nonetheless, let's get into the WNBA. The Fever beat the Sparks 93-86 uh, due to another great performance from Caitlin Clark. She had the first ever rookie triple-double uh, with 24 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. She also had 3 steals, 8 of 17 shooting from the field, 7 turnovers still, but I mean, we knew that's just who she is. She tries very risky passes, that's why she's a great passer, but... Uh, the question is how great of a passer she is when she averages so many turnovers, actually. That's my question to y'all. But, I mean, we know she has the vision and we know she makes some incredible passes, but um, the turnovers are kind of crazy. But that's just who she is at the end of the day, like I said. Uh, Alia Boston also had a great game, 24 points, 14 rebounds, 4 assists, 10 of 16 shooting from the field. Kelsey Mitchell, while not as explosive of a game as she has been having lately, she had 18 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists on 8 of 18 shooting. And the Fever uh, held on to their life against the Sparks. Uh, they were rebounding really well, which was huge. They got to the foul line a lot, which was huge. Uh, while the Sparks hit the, you know, were shooting the three ball really well, uh, it could not counter all the other things enough. Uh, but Odyssey Sims continues to impress. It's kind of crazy that she, uh, you know, is just a journeyman in the league, a journey woman in the league. Um, because, yeah, I mean, she's a bucket. I don't get it. I don't get it. But I guess there might be more reasons to everything. I don't know. Uh, but these parks had a pretty well-balanced attack. But I, unfortunately, Rika Jackson, after I pointed out how well she's playing, she's had two, two off nights, which, I mean, it happens, right? But it's just such a shame, shameful timing. Uh, but, I mean, it happens, obviously, to every single one. Every single player in the world, except, I guess, LeBron and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> um, so that is that. But the Sparks are playing okay. Obviously, they will be fighting for the number one pick. And with that, there will be obviously uh, 
all the pressure on next year. Well, today's slate contains two games. We have the Storm against the Liberty. The Storm finally got a great win, but obviously a really tough schedule with the Liberty. Uh, with play playing against Liberty and the Mystics against the Mercury, the Mystics fighting for the last playoff spot. Um, while obviously all the other spots are already locked in, so um, yeah, that is that. Uh, nonetheless, thank you all. Uh, thank you all for uh, watching, for listening. As always, be kind to yourself and others, be gentle with yourselves, and I'll catch you all wherever, whenever. Uh, love.